Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days since we've returned from our family trip over to Oregon. Now normally when I go and travel, I take a single camera and two lenses with me, a6000, Sony 35mm f1.8, and the 16-50 to kit lens. It creates a small package, it's very easy to take with me, I throw it into the suitcase, and I'm on my way. This trip, I decided to switch things up a bit, and this is what I brought with me. Here is the bag, again, Sony branded. This is a relatively inexpensive bag on Amazon. Uh, it ha has a little zipper, so that's nice. And in here, jam-packed, is my A6000. On that A6000 is the new Sigma 56 millimeter. Off to the side, I have the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. I don't usually keep lens caps with my lenses. I know I probably should, but I typically will clean my lens before using it anyway. And the last lens here is the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. Now in the side pockets, I always carry an extra battery or two. And then on this side, I'll typically put one of those little compact battery chargers. So this is it for my travel gear on this trip. And the reason that I decided to bring all of these lenses is because a lot of you may not remember a video that I did probably two years ago. I mentioned putting together just a two or three lens kit um, that's going to give you sharp images, excellent image quality, good autofocus, and it's going to be a relatively compact package. And until the Sigma 56 came out, I really never thought about putting together a Sigma trio of lenses. But now that you have these three, it's starting to make a whole lot of sense. Now I've done individual reviews on all three of these lenses, so if you guys are looking for more of an in-depth review on each of these, check out those videos. So originally the Sigma 16 f1.4 did have a predecessor, and I would consider that to be the Sigma 19mm f2.8, which was a compact lens, relatively sharp, but only f2.8, and it struggled a little bit in the area of autofocus. What Sigma did with the 16mm is they created something that is all new, it is super fast, f1.4, as are the rest of these lenses. It has excellent autofocus. The image quality is super sharp, corner to corner, center to corner. It is a lens that is a pleasure to use. 16 millimeter, nice and wide, great for general photography. This is really a winner. One of the sharpest lenses available for Sony APS-C and one of the lenses that I recommend most frequently when asked for a great, all around lens. Now you'll notice that each one of these lenses has a numerical value here, and I didn't realize this until several of you commented in one of my last videos that these numbers actually stand for the year of release. So the first lens that came out was in 2016. This is the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. In 2017, the 16 millimeter f1.4 came out, and the latest, 2018, 56 1.4. Um, so in 2017, I said that this is one of the best lenses that I've tested all year, and I have to say it is still one of my favorites to this day, so highly recommended. The Sigma 30mm f1.4 is the oldest lens in this group, and since the beginning, it was a very highly rated, highly praised lens. It is one of the sharpest lenses available for the Sony APS-C system, and you'll notice that I have probably said that about each one of these lenses, but that is very true. Sigma makes the sharpest, best lenses, in my opinion, for the Sony E-mount system. Uh, this thing is super sharp. I compared it to the Sony 35 f1.8, and it is very noticeably sharper. Also has better colors. Um, the only area in which this lens is lacking really is autofocus. It's a step or two behind these other two lenses from Sigma. It is still a great lens, though. Very inexpensive, lightweight, compact, excellent image quality, so if you're looking for something that's a great street photography lens, check this one out. Sigma originally released a 30mm f2.8 lens, which was compact, relatively sharp, but again, similar to the 19mm Sigma of old, it suffered from autofocus that wasn't exactly quick or accurate. This lens design is a huge, huge upgrade and improvement, so if you have one of those old lenses, definitely check these things out. Finally, last but not least, this is the 56 millimeter f1.4, and this is the best portrait lens for the Sony E-mount system, in my opinion. Uh, nice and compact, 
super sharp. If you guys didn't watch my last video where I compared this thing to the Sony 50 millimeter f1.8, this thing is very, very noticeably sharper than that lens from Sony, which was already very highly rated. I also compared this uh, just briefly to the Zeiss 55. I'll do another video about that. Um, but it, in my testing, this thing is also sharper than the $1,000 Zeiss 55. Uh, it's compact, very quick and accurate autofocus. The colors are amazing and the background bokeh and blur is simply amazing with this thing. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a great portrait lens. Look at the giant aperture blades on this thing. It really is the perfect addition to this trio lineup from Sigma. Now the Sigma 56 millimeter is a replacement to the excellent Sigma 60 millimeter f2.8, which was a larger inexpensive um, f2.8 portrait lens. It was very sharp. It had great colors, uh, but again, similar to the other two older models from Sigma, the autofocus left something to be desired. This new lens is a huge improvement, not only in image quality and color, um, but it's more compact. It's a lot faster at f1.4 versus f2.8. So it is a huge leap forward. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample photos from these three lenses. These were all done on my Sony a6000, all done handheld. Here we go. You'll notice from those sample photos that I have a new model that is our little baby boy. Um, he kind of stole the show in that one. Anyway, I cannot say enough good things about these three lenses. These are definitely in my top five best lenses for the a6000, a6500, a6300. As I mentioned before, these are the lenses that I most frequently recommend to folks that are asking, hey, I have an a6000, I have a kit lens, what lens should I get? Typically, it's going to be one of these three, um, depending on the focal length that you need. Now, some of you may be wondering, which one of these lenses should I get? And really, that depends on the focal length that you're looking for. You can get very similar shots with all three of these lenses. The difference, for portraits at least, is how much background you want to include. So, for example, here is a shot done of my wife with the Sigma 16 millimeter, and then with the Sigma 30 millimeter, and finally with the Sigma 56 millimeter. 
If you look at those shots side by side next to each other, you'll notice that the only real difference is how wide the background is. All three lenses produce very creamy bokeh wide open at f1.4. All three are very nice and sharp. You'll notice that the Sigma 30 millimeter image is slightly soft, more on that later. As you move to the 30 millimeter or the 56 millimeter, there is quite a bit more subject separation. So the Sigma 56 is definitely the lens to get for portraits. Now for my sample photos, what I did is I used the Sigma 16 millimeter almost exclusively indoors because in most situations it's nice and tight unless you have huge living rooms and you're going to be shooting from 20 feet back. The Sigma 16 millimeter makes a whole lot of sense because you can walk right up to your subject, get everything nice and sharp and focused and capture those moments. With the Sigma 30 millimeter you do need a little bit more space. I'd say that this lens is still usable indoors. Um, you just have to step a little bit further back from your subject to get everything that you want in your frame. The Sigma 56 is pretty challenging indoors. It's just really zoomed in. Uh, so this one is a lens that I only used outdoors. Now these three lenses are by no means perfect. Each one has its own set of flaws. What they share in common is that not a single one of these lenses has any built-in stabilization. So if you're using the A6000, um, that's something to be aware of. It's less of an issue with the 16 millimeter because it's nice and wide. Even if you're shooting video handheld, it doesn't seem as shaky as the 30 millimeter, which is relatively shaky, but is not as bad as the Sigma 56 because you're way more zoomed in and you notice those small shakes even though you are trying to be steady with your hands. So if you're using one of these three lenses for video, I would recommend getting a gimbal. That'll make your life a lot easier and your shots a lot smoother. The second and last shortcoming of each one of these three lenses has to do with autofocus. So I'll start with the Sigma 16 millimeter. The autofocus system on this lens is very accurate. It's relatively quick. For a Sigma lens, it's actually really quick. The only problem is the autofocus noise. So if you're using the built-in microphone on your camera, your camera is gonna pick up that noise. So it's not ideal for vlogging unless you're using an external microphone or recording your audio externally. Here's what it sounds like. The autofocus on the Sigma 30mm f1.0 is relatively quiet. It is quick, however, it's not very accurate. I would have replaced my Sony 35mm f1.8 with this Sigma 30mm a long, long time ago if the autofocus was improved. The problem with this lens is even after Sigma's firmware update, which improved autofocus speed and accuracy, it's still really not that fast or accurate. I would say 85% of the time it's fine, but 15% of the time the shots are slightly out of focus and it's a pain. Earlier I showed you those three side-by-side -side shots of my wife and you may have noticed the 30 millimeter lens was slightly out of focus. That's just a byproduct of how this autofocus system works. So even though it's a great lens, it's very sharp 85% of the time. 15% of the time, it might drive you a little bit crazy. Last but not least is the Sigma 56 millimeter. This lens really doesn't suffer with that many autofocus issues. My only small complaint is speed. It's not quite as fast as a native Sony branded lens. So if you compare the speed of this autofocus to something like the Sony 50 millimeter or the Zeiss 55 millimeter, it's a tad bit slower, but just as accurate. It's nice and quiet though, um, so I would highly recommend this one. What's impressive to me is that as you get more and more closer to a telephoto lens, typically it's harder to focus because you have a narrower focal plane. So in theory, the Sigma 16 millimeter should have the best autofocus system followed by the Sigma 30, then followed by the Sigma 56. But in reality, the Sigma 56 has the best autofocus followed by the Sigma 16, and then last, Sigma 30. At the end of the day, these three lenses represent three of the sharpest available lenses for the Sony E-mount system, and they're all relatively budget-friendly. They're not cheap, 
but they're not overly expensive. They're not approaching Zeiss territory either. So if you're looking for a great prime lens to add as an addition to your kit lens or maybe a walk around lens like the 18 to 105, definitely check out one of these things. If I had to pick a favorite from these three, it's a tie for first place between the Sigma 16 and the Sigma 56, um, followed by the Sigma 30. All three great lenses, again, highly recommended. So as always, I will post down below links to Amazon for all three of these. Um, I think it's a good idea for those of you who are exploring this hobby, casual shooters, maybe even professionals, to have all three in your collection because they are very unique and serve a different purpose um, at three very different focal lengths. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and support. Let me know what your thoughts are on these three lenses. I know that a lot of you have these, so I'm always curious to read more about your experience with them down in the comments below. Stay tuned for more. I will be a little bit more frequent with the uploads now that I am back and I am way backed up on producing videos. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.